What's up everybody? I have been using this Momport laser now for a couple of months. I must say that I really, really like it. I have a bunch of videos coming up on this. Um, I haven't put out too much, but I do have lots and lots of projects that I've done. I have really run into no issues at all with this. I just recently, probably 48 hours ago, unpacked my rotary tool and I am trying to get into tumblers. Tumblers are very cool. And I've been doing a lot of testing and trying to get it down just right. And I think this next cup I'm doing is going to be perfect. As you can see on this previous one, I did a whole bunch of testing to figure out what power and speed, as well as some test images. And, you know, it's turning out pretty good. Uh, one thing I never knew about these was too much power would actually make it to where the stainless steel behind doesn't clean off good at all. So I always thought the more power the better, but in this case, that's actually the less power. So as you can see from this test thing I did, I started off around here and that just will not come off. So I, I did the test and my low power of about 150 by 18 is what I have chosen for this project. So I am going to try to let me find an example. Here's another test one. And you're gonna have to lose pieces of tumblers uh, with testing with this. Every laser is different, tons of settings. But uh, I think I finally got it and it only took me two cups. So here's what I'm gonna engrave on this one. I have a Ford trimmer, F-150 truck. And as you can see with this test piece, I tested the different strengths and power for the word trimmer here. And as you can see clearly, this one is way too low a power. And it, it, it took off a little bit of the paint, but not much. And I figure this one, to me, looks the best. Or maybe the M, but these are right around 150 millimeters per second and 18% power. So that's exactly what I'm running on this. I'm gonna try to do this exact logo. And it's gonna take approximately 15 minutes to engrave. It is six inches wide by four inches tall. And I think it's gonna look really good if it comes out like I'm hoping. So I'm gonna set everything up on my computer and then I will time lapse this for you. And if you have any questions at all about this Monport 80 watt laser CO2, let me know and I'll answer that for you. Or if you wanna see any specific test. So I will be pumping out some videos about this and I am really, really, really liking it. So yeah, let's get started. The reason I have this tape on here is because I was framing it and it's kind of hard to tell um, if it was doing the exact right frame. So I did this in inches and I have a camera above us pointing down into this and I was able to count each inch and it's, it should be perfect. So peel this off, I'll use this for later for a different size mug or tumbler. And so this is eight inches tall from there to there. Like I said, my graphic is six inches. So I wanna go down one inch here. That way my graphic will take up six inches and then I'll have one inch here so it'll be even. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and get this guy going. Hopefully it turns out good. I will show you the process. Right now I just have some baby wipes that I use to wipe off the excess stuff from the engraving. Uh, I, I have heard online that people use that LA Totally Awesome Clean. Um, I'm gonna buy that next time I see it at the store and see if that does any better. But baby wipes are pretty easy since they're already wet. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. All right guys, we are done. It took about 15 to 17 minutes or so. And hopefully that was a pretty cool time lapse. As you can see from here, the mug is still, the tumbler is still very dirty, uh, which is just leftover residue from the powder coating. And I just have a simple baby wipe. Let's see how clean we can get this. I will say 
I let this sit for at least five to ten minutes to kind of flush out any excess smoke because this absolutely reeks. So there it is before I wipe it off. Engraving was great. You can see there's a lot of residue left over. I will use a cleaner with my next cup and I'll let you guys know if that uh, spray does better than just a simple baby wipe. But this should technically do the same thing. It's just a wet wipe, you know. However, the cleaner will have chemicals in it, obviously. So I don't know which one will truly do better. So but there you go. That actually came out great. I'm very happy with that. Let me go ahead and grab one more wipe and see if there's any more residue that we can't see. Very happy with how this came out. It is a little bit of a learning curve to get this going. And like I said, I wasted two tumblers, but once you get it down, it's actually pretty simple. So I was very confident in this one coming out good and it looks awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right guys, there we have it. Let me grab the lid for it real quick. All right, here we go. So this is actually a really nice tumbler. I got this from Walmart and it was only, I think it was $9 or maybe even eight. It's a 24 ounce. What I do like about it is there's, there is no name brand on it. So most of my other ones, like, let me grab it. Like this one here, as you can see, it says Igloo. And obviously that's always gonna be on there and you have to kind of work around it. Um, to me, it takes away from the overall appeal having that igloo on there. Let me know in the comments if, if you don't mind this. Now, I can see the ones that are like Yeti because it's a major, major brand. It's one of the best tumblers out there. But I'm glad that this cheap Walmart one doesn't say where it's from. And it seems like it's very good build quality. So this comes with the lid, of course, with a straw. I actually really like this cup. I like it more than I thought I would. Got a little hanging thing, and then this pops up, and that pops up, and then you got a straw going down all the way to the bottom. So very cool, guys. Just wanted to show you how this made a tumbler, and it did a fantastic. I'm very excited. I got another one of this in pink, and then I bought a little bit bigger one. I think they're 30 ounces, same brand and everything, a black and a pink. And then I'm gonna be making a bunch of different ones. I guess I might as well throw in a little plug here. If you guys like this, I will be selling stuff like this soon in my Etsy store or just online if you want to shoot me a message. Yeah, the, the mug, the tumbler was 10 bucks. I'll probably charge anywhere from 25 to $40, depending on the size. And to get something completely custom that you will never find anywhere in any store. And so you do drive a trimmer which is kind of a, a kind of a limited edition truck, if you will. Um, and you, you're just not gonna find anything like this on the market. And what's cool about the laser, of course, is if you're watching this video, you already know, you can put any design you want on this thing. So right now I am making a design on Lightburn. I live near St. Louis, so I have all the St. Louis Cardinals, St. Louis Blues, St. Louis City Soccer. Um, Mizzou Tigers and a couple others around and I'm going to try to make a cup with all the different teams that goes all the way around and they're just randomly put on the tumbler maybe even a few you know crooked or upside down just to give it like a cool look and I think that's going to be a really popular thing as well so let me know in the comments if you like how this turned out if you've ever used a CO2 laser like this if you are interested in getting one the reason I went with Momport was honestly the price. This machine here, retail, is right about $5,000 or so. Now, the one that everybody talks about and that people love was the Thunder Laser. Uh, the same size machine with pretty much the same specs. I think it, it, this is an 80 watt. I think the Thunder that I'm talking about is 100 watt. We are looking at, I think it's 95 or $9,800 for that machine. And this thing goes on sale quite often for 4,200 or so. And then every once in a while, Monport will throw in freebies like the Lightburn software or the rotary tool. They do that for like Valentine's Day 
or you know Christmas time. So I think it's just a great value. I've had no issues at all with this machine and I, I couldn't be any happier with it. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up this Tumblr video. If you wanna see a more in-depth video, like how to set everything up, how I use light burn, how I send stuff to the laser, et cetera, et cetera, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to make that happen for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. See ya.